This past weekend saw escalated violence in Ukraine's Donbas region as Russia made significant gains in the key battle city of Severodonetsk and were found to have used shelling and cluster munitions on civilians in Kharkiv as Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky made a grave prediction about this month's war effort for Russia. As CNN had reported late Saturday, Lugansk Governor Sergei Haidai revealed that the majority of Severodonetsk is under Russian control, with Russia deploying highly destructive thermobaric rocket artillery. Haidai said the following, Unfortunately, enemy artillery is simply dismantling floor-to-floor -floor buildings that are used as shelters. In this sense, it is difficult because the enemy will be knocked out of one street. And then they will start dismantling neighborhoods house by house with tanks, artillery and grads. As a result, Ukrainian forces are constantly required to be on the move, finding new positions and tactically regrouping, CNN added. Haidai also claimed in a Telegram post Sunday that Russia is continuing to target bridges connecting Severodonetsk to other cities. But researchers at the Institute for the Study of War believe that this is not the ideal strategy. The ISW war report for Sunday said the following. Russian forces should, in principle, be seeking to seize the bridges rather than destroy them, since Russian troops have struggled to cross the Seversky Donetsk River. They could hope to trap Ukrainian defenders in Severodonetsk by cutting off their retreat. But it seems unlikely that the benefit of catching a relatively small number of defenders would be worth the cost of imposing a contested river crossing on Russian troops. In new findings Monday, Amnesty International has cited evidence to claim that since the start of the war, Russia has indiscriminately used internationally banned weapons like N9210 or N9235 cluster munitions and scatterable mines against civilians in Kharkiv. Titled Anyone Can Die at Any Time, the press release detailing the report added, and I quote, Amnesty International researchers documented seven cluster munition strikes in different neighborhoods all over the city, where they found fins and pellets, fragments of cluster submunitions, as well as fragments of Uragan rockets known to carry such munitions. Indiscriminate attacks were also carried out using scatterable landmines and other explosive weapons, notably Grad rockets. In all, the organization documented 28 indiscriminate strikes on Kharkiv launched by Russian forces between 28th February and 30th April. Meanwhile, President Zelensky has predicted that while Russia's key tactical goal has not changed, they will lose 40,000 of its troops by the end of the month. The Russian army is trying to deploy reserve forces in the Donbass. But what reserves can they have now? It seems that they will try to throw into battle poorly trained conscripts and those who were gathered by covert mobilization. And this means only one thing. Russia can cross the border of 40,000 of its lost troops in June. In no other war in many decades have they lost so much, he said in a Telegram post late Sunday. For The Print, this is Raghav Bichandani. For more, log on to theprint.in and follow us on social media.